CBS News, this is why. Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. It is good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. President Biden is making what he calls a moral case for protecting the fundamental right of Americans to vote. In America, if you lose, you accept the results. You follow the Constitution. You try again. You don't call facts fake and then try to bring down the American experiment just because you're unhappy. That's not statesmanship. That's not democracy. It's a denial of the right to vote. It suppresses. It subjugates. The denial of full and free and fair elections is the most un-American thing that any of us can imagine. The 21st century Jim Crow assault is real. It's unrelenting. And we're going to challenge it vigorously. The speech on voting rights comes as a handful of Republican-led legislatures are moving to restrict them. It poses a dilemma for the White House. Just how much can the federal government do to counteract what it believes are detrimental policies on the state level? Meanwhile, members of Congress are continuing their push to pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill. But some Republicans are expressing concerns over how the plan is funded. We'll have more on lawmakers' two-track infrastructure hopes in a moment. Plus, after dozens of failed legal challenges and recounts in several states, the fallout from former President Trump's baseless claims of widespread election fraud continues. Lawyers for Mr. Trump could be facing discipline for their roles in attempting to overturn the 2020 election. Attorneys Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood faced questions from a federal judge during a hearing in Michigan Monday. It comes after the state of New York and Washington, D.C., suspended the law licenses of former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. A committee of judges determined the former president's personal attorney had, quote, communicated demonstrably false and misleading statements to courts, lawmakers, and the public at large. Here's an example of what they mean. If you count the lawful votes, Trump won Wisconsin by a good margin. Indeed, if you count the lawful votes in Pennsylvania, he won it by about 300,000 votes. All you got to do to find out if I'm misleading you at all is to look at the lawsuits. The Washington Post uncovered emails from a top lawyer for the Republican Party, Justin Reimer. In correspondence from last November, Reimer called the fraud claims a joke and accused the Trump legal team of, quote, misleading millions of people who have wishful thinking that the president is going to somehow win this thing. For more, let's bring in Caitlin Huey Burns, Eugene Scott, and Nandita Bose. Caitlin is CBSN's Washington reporter. Eugene is a national political reporter for The Washington Post. And Nandita is a White House correspondent for Reuters. Welcome. It's good to have you all. Nandita, let's talk about voting rights. On Monday, dozens of Texas Democratic lawmakers fled to Washington, D.C., trying to block the passage of new voting restrictions. You interviewed Vice President Harris, who is meeting with those lawmakers. What's next here? Uh, so I did get a chance to uh, speak to Vice President Harris today.